from the home of the Rangers, we're at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas. Play squad. John Gray gets the starting assignment for Texas in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty B, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit. Late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. The lead, you start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right time but somebody's going to have to create a spark hopefully it's with the first two guys in the batting order time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Ed Drummond yeah Matty hey you know what Bureau this Ed Drummond he's a good umpire fair that umpire good ball and so strike umpire pretty much down. straight down the road that's Aaron. all you look for Got him swinging and that will end the inning Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was Tanaka's ready. Here's the one and two. Swing and a line drive, but right there to glove it is the shortstop Rangers starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, you have to love the thump that Joey Gallo is providing at the plate right now. Pops this one up. Boyd shading to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Josh Bell the no, next to hit. Man. He's always a Josh. long ball. Hard hit ball to second. Torres brings it in. Throw on to Boyd. Yeah. Takes care of him. And the inning is over. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. As we run you the... I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Mazzara moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. That is it. In now, Gary Sanchez. He carries the eighth pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards him, and that's exactly what Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So next to the plate for Texas, Joey Gallo, the 2-2. Two -two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Late now is the designated hitter. Aaron. Same pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in. And still, then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking that ball. Eric Thames. So right. Line shot to second, but it's caught in the side. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's the number seven hitter, but he boys curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Torres becomes the first out for hit number one here. DD swings and belts a ball to right field. This is carrying well. And gone. An absolute bomb. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. And something to watch out for is whether or not he'll... Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out towards shallow right. Mazzara will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. That's for the Yankee. Digging in now for the Yankee. That pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then... And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Cass. Sort of run so far. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. The catcher set to get his evening at the round in a hurry. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Hicks is under it, two gone. Batting up. 
in his Gerardo Park. And there's a look at his home and road right. And the Rangers are in the hit column. So he's aboard following the two out base hit and here in the penultimate month of the season okay. look up that word here he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion line drive to center field in there a base hit long throw to third and he is in there hey there's another base knock right there a hitting streak now up to eight games yeah no doubt. middle and in for a base hit and to score from third is the tying run it's one to one and no chance there he'll make it to third safely the first base hit. The first standing in now with run. hit hard on the ground towards second oh and he can't come up with it and the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time Here's Joey Gallo now. And was at the heart. He is throwing everything away right here. Gallo swings, and this one is crushed out to right field. Gone! And that one had some extra distance. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number 56 on the year. And it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Eric Thames. And the slider misses low and away here. It's ball four. So the runner at first here with two gone. And and this one's in the dirt. Hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Yeah. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Hey, after that Number hit five. right there, Zero, that Check extends his hitting streak. Line towards center field. Hicks is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. But not before five crossed the plate, with the big blow being this three. Here's Miguel Andahar now. Sent out to straightaway center field. Has a beat on it. One away. The right fielder, number 99. So one away here with the bases in. Right here. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Now Jim Carlos Stanton. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit sharply on the ground. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, that, now one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the strike zone. You're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Stanton blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the plate as they close the gap to three now. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Calhoun will put this one away and the side is retired is how well they're doing it simply putting the ball in play we let him away so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone ready for another right side hit hard and that is going to sneak on through into right it's a one out single So now one gun in the inning here. Completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. 
Kapara ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He'll score easily. And they lead now by four. And he is out at third. So Fred Rendon Rogers, the 0-1 on its way. Hot shot on the ground is short. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw on the board, takes care of him, and the end. To me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right should lead to more opportunities for free passes okay thank you honey takes this the other way to right Mazzara moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one and it got out of here in a hurry sent on the ground out to second and the off-balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play now that so bases are empty here with Blair. He was a first-round pick during the 2008 draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. And the tag is on him to retire the side. Up next for the Rangers, Josh. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Hicks going back. At the track, on the warning track, he makes the catch. Now that, no so the bases are at that this becomes his last inning. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. So bases are empty here. 100 right now, d -Row. And this is when you try to get to a good starting pitcher. Right now, looks like he's running on fumes. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the shot. Leading off the inning, D.J. Le Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. And now is the Yankees' D.H. McGill. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that is Archie Bradley and was to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. In now the power hitting out. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Hicks. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So striding forward now, the windup and the 0-2 pitch. That smokes, but right into the shift. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be... The 2-2 one more time. Hard hit to first. Reined in. There's one onto the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now. No walk so far. Here's the 3 2. And that run will continue as this is swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez. Now. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. A swing by Sanchez. And this one soaring out into left field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. Into the box. Luke Boyd. Boyd. As it's grounded sharply to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now it's a plate for it. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Mazzara's on his horse, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Now batting. Here's Didi Gregorius. And he's got to get on comes the Rangers skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That one for two in the ball game thus far. Another one-two delivery. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Now at the plate, Gerardo Parra. Count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Popped him up. 
And this is taken in for out number one. Now that Jeff McNeil will be the next. Who's late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Now a flare out to left center. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. So coming to the plate. Brent. This thing was inside and coming in hot. And he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. And the throw is in time to get him to. Kelvin Herrera is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Offense, it just goes to show you this sport is still D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game. Defense, base running, it's just not. Justin Wilson gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Oh one, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now in the box, Aaron Judge. The 2 1. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up. The second for one. Relay the bell. The double play. And that's how. Chad Green, Green is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. Number 50. Now at the plate, Josh. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Toro scoops it up. And that's out number one. Up next for the Rangers. So no one gun now in the Texas. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Next will be the designated hitter. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Jose LeFleur comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Striding forward now. Line drive to left. Gallo is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now that digging in once again, Gary Sandwin too. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Now batter. The first the Yankees down to their final Ooh. out. Last chance for the Yankees. The Yankees, good night. Always nice to get the first game of the series. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. The and tonight's one run game game comes to an end six the to five Rangers, the final. The Texas runs, Rangers hit, led this game no from the third they inning on and never wavered. Inside the show. Inside the show. Here's your host, Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Starting out west in the American League, Jordan Montgomery was untouchable on the mound, crafting an amazing no-hit performance as the Yankees disposed of the Rangers 14 to nothing. Inside the show. And now your host, Justin Allegri. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the AL West. D.J. LeMahieu was clutch with the bat in his hands, driving in five runs on three hits. As the Yankees disposed of the Rangers, 11-5. to five. In other Yankees news, right fielder Aaron Judge is listed as day-to-day, -day, but is not expected to see any time on the DL. He's dealing with bruised ribs.